There's only one game that could possibly come after FIFA 13 in this retro FIFA series, and it's FIFA 14. What other game did you even think I was gonna say? Oh, So here we are, playing FIFA 14 with the world's most disgusting menu graphics in all history. Have we even got an arena for this one? You can really see the slow decline of this game over time. Where's my arena? I've got skill- I don't want to do skill games, I just want to go in the arena fam. I think by this point I'd kind of stop playing FIFA just in like my recreational use. I don't know if that's even a phrase, is that- is that a phrase? Does anyone play FIFA as recreational use? Career mode got quite a big overhaul this year, as you'll see in a minute. Ultimate Team was still pretty good. There was still a pretty decent buzz about Ultimate Team and pink slips and all that honk. Anyway, you're not here to see me ramble about all of this stuff. You're here to see me play career mode. Builder 3, Builder. A lot of craftsmen involved in my uh, old career mode save, seemingly. This was the game where they decided to bring in flipping GTN scouting, and they took it to the extreme, where you can't even see the ratings of the players when you're about to choose your team on career mode. Let's be Arsenal. This was- I feel like this was really good banter era for Arsenal. Arsenal appoint manager as new boss. I mean, I'd be concerned if they didn't appoint a manager as a new boss, really. Arsenal star Shamak sold to Crystal pa for a start, that's grammatically incorrect. Why is there an apostrophe S on the end of Shamak? Secondly, when has Maran Shamak ever been a star for Arsenal? Oh, look at this menu. Look at this absolute travesty of a menu. This was awful. Ah, uh, oh, what? Bleh. Look at the team management. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up everywhere. I'm gonna throw up absolutely everywhere. Chesney in goal. Sanya, Mertesacker, Koscielny and Kieran Gibbs at the back. Mikel Arteta at holding me. Jack Wilshire, Theo Walcott, Lucas Podolski, Santi Cazorla and Olivier Giroud. Fabianski and Carl Jenkinson. We've got a young Oxlade Chamberlain. Yaya Sunogo. Arsenal legend, 42 balance. On a level, right? Is, the, is he like one of the worst? Worst signings ever. Surely he is in Arsenal history. <laughs> Emmanuel Frimpong, absolute hero. Honestly, right, my favourite thing about this guy is that when he signed for Barnsley on transfer deadline day, his reaction on Twitter was to complain that he wouldn't be able to pull girls anymore. I like that. A man with priorities. Abu Dhabi, probably injured already. Nicholas Bentner, which I imagine is gonna spark some horrendously out of date jokes in the comments section. Oh my, Hector Bayerin was 56. Wow, he was so terrible. Ah, oh, I've just seen that screen. It bleh. All right, what we got? Ladies and gents, let me see my let's see my emails. Win the league. I don't know about you, all right, Arsenal board, but that doesn't seem very realistic to me at all. This was during the prime era of Arsenal finishing fourth, year in, year out, and going out of the round of 16 of the Champions League. Oh yeah, introducing the GTN scouts, where it all went wrong. It used to take a whole month to scout a player, any player. I could search Lionel Messi, and my scouts would be like, I don't know anything. Eight million pounds from Wolfsburg for Olivier Giroud. Do you think eight million pounds is enough to take this sensual, handsome, disgracefully attractive man off my hands? I mean, he's, he's a good footballer, but we, 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 we just, we all just, we fancy him, don't we? He's sexual. Anyway, it's game time. Realistically, we all know that's what you came for. It's honestly a wonder with GTN scouting on FIFA 14. I even know what the ratings of my own players are. My scouts could walk in to the changing rooms and they wouldn't even know who Kieran Gibbs is. FIFA 14 graphics, here we are, pre-season friendly, back at it with the gameplay. Jack Wilshire clapping to the Leon fans. I don't think they're gonna be very receptive of you, Chief. I'm gonna win today, okay? I can categorically tell you I'm gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 look, listen, it wasn't a great start, honestly. Are you, I don't think you're ready for the best free kick of the century. You know what? That wasn't that bad. I've seen worse, okay? 
From this angle, though, it was very bad. I will take everything back. You gotta get a taster, you know? You just gotta get a little taste for the goal, all right? Put a little cider in. Unless you're Leon. And then you don't need a cider because you can just score anyway. It's Lacazette. It, it had to be Lacazette, didn't it, realistically? <laughs> Solid kickoff there from the boys was probably deserved. Overall, that is probably a booking. He's missed the ball slightly, ever so slightly. Oh, my days, my days. The AI don't need to try. They just put a cross in the box and it gets headed in. Inside, I don't know who this is. Oh, it's saved by the goalkeeper. It's all right, this is fine. Look, at least we've had a chance. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're putting the pressure on now. When is it gonna end, Robbie? We've got a chance with Sanya. Oh, we've actually scored a goal. I don't believe it, boys. Bakary Sanya, sp sp spaghetti boy. I'm pretty sure it's bounced off him. <laughs> it's come off his face. We've got all the momentum now for this second half. We've got some of the momentum for this second half. My keeper's not made a single save. They've had four shots in this game and they've scored all four. I might as well have not had a goalkeeper. I genuinely could have put an extra outfield player on the pitch and I'd have done better because my goalkeeper's done nothing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've actually had enough. I can't. This is world class. I can't be bothered. My keeper still not made a single save. If I go on to the stats, all right, there's been the same amount of shots. Oh, ball in. I give up. I give up. So their goalkeeper can do stuff, but mine can't. That's calm, all right, sound. I'm on ultra attacking and I've got one player forward. One, and the referee's blown for full time there. What? Did, did anyone actually play this game? I can't, I'm actually in a state of shock. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. At least none of my players have a mullet. I can't even detox by looking at nostalgic players because you couldn't search for players' ratings on this game because it was all that GTN baloney. What even is that? What's the point? Who cares? Oh my. This guy will not stop following me around. I did Deji Osha larger. Uh, where have you come from, my lad? The OGs of this channel will know about this man. I did Deji Osha larger was playing for Cardiff. AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory phenomenon. Adel Tarapt, Adnan Yanazai, Ali Sissoko, the best left back to ever play in the Premier League. I've had nightmares about this boy from Ultimate Team. We've even got Mugabe. Mugabe is in FIFA. Bebe as well. Second and final friendly. Um, look, listen, I'm just trying to give myself a chance out here. Are we gonna be good at this game? No, no. You know the drill by now. There's gotta be a horrendous pun in all of these retro games. I'm not sure about that from Chesney. I mean, he, he went on a little adventure there. I'm not a big fan. As Walcott swings it into Giroud, he hits the bar. Are you mental? How does he even hit the bar from there? Yeah, no, it's fine. Don't We don't need marking. I don't know what you're on. A, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank the Lord for that. Here's Giroud in space, and he scored. Olivier Giroud gives us the lead. And it's a, oh, what an angle for the celebration. It's all right. We don't have to talk about the fact that it's unprofessional. We don't, we don't need to talk about it. Nah, legit. Get me on FIFA 14 esports. I want to see me the F2 techs, boys. Walcott swings it in for Giroud. For Giroud. <laughs> for Giroud. Oh, hello. This could be trouble town for Betty's. It's Theo Walcott. It's 2-0. Oh, it's beautiful from Arsenal. Theo Walcott is sprinting about the gaff. It's 2-0. I mean, I feel like to some extent there probably needs to be a difficulty between professional and world class. 45 minutes gone. I don't mean to get ahead of myself, but I'm the best FIFA player of all time. This this is not good. This is a bad sign. I'm not sure. There's, yeah, there's, there's no marking going on there, boys. That's, um, it's into Olivier Giroud. And it's wide. It's wide. Olivier, if you focus as much on your finishing as you did on your hair products that's in the back of the net son betis are into their final minute oh no no i don't like the look of this at all oh what a challenge arteta again that is it 
We've won. I don't believe it. We have won a game on a retro FIFA for the first time since FIFA 07, I think. That was about eight games ago. That, though, is going to be it for me, I think. I don't think my brain, my lungs, my heart can take any more of this horrendous game. If you enjoyed this video, though, slap a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's the big red button under the video, and it massively helps me out. You can also follow me on social media these days, too. My Twitter and Insta are at the official FNG and links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.